I'm playing defense over here. We got a alley full here. Like, looks like this will be good. Take them away. Take them away. We'll load the last four. It's worth the stir. What? <laughs> Are you ready for this? Are you ready, Yomi? Are we good? Act action. Act Hello. Hello. Okay, well, we got to get these um we got to get these calves up for tomorrow morning. For 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 four tomorrow morning. Got to take them. Got to take four of them. He put some feed in there hoping they would go in the corral, but they haven't they haven't made that move. So we got to get this done. So they'll be ready to go first thing. Before the sun comes up for sure. <laughs> Two little sheep are so cute. It's beautiful today, y'all. It is beautiful. Beautiful. And the wind died down, so that's nice. Okay, we're gonna see how this goes. I'm playing defense over here in this corner. And um, he's obviously in the tractor and Wesley's gonna go on foot and we're gonna see. See how they do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there's ten. I thought there was only nine left. Anyway. Come on, ladies. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I can find this little path I can run in. Yeah, I can run in here. Hey, Cub. Hey, girls. There you go. Good girls. Good, good, good. Love it when a plan comes together. All right, Wesley got him pinned. Go get, let him out. That was easy. I move the scale back under because we got to run them all through. Get the ones out that we want to keep. Right, uh, okay. We get them all in here in one time, and then I'll take a look and see what's the big four biggest ones. All right. Sounds like a plan, Stan. He's going to do it for me. I usually do this. And that's fine with me. <laughs> little seven we are gonna put him out we're gonna put him out with these others here before long ideally we could put him with the sheep but we just can't because of the food situation because sh we couldn't leave free choice food out for him because the sheep would eat it all they would just kill themselves <laughs> that would be bad they're not all gonna fit baby we got a alley full here. Everybody's turned the right way. There's still, what, see back here? They did good and they came in good. You can't really tell them here, can you? Very well. Oh, well, that one's big. That one looks big, 25. Forty-three. What about twenty-five? She looks She's fat, but she ain't as tall as this one. Oh, I'm oh, okay. Them shorter ones to breed. Okay. All right. See, these are things I'm learning. Things we're all learning. <laughs> You'd rather have shorter ones than real framey ones to breed, so they'll breed better, calve easier, typically. Oh, this one right here has anger issues. She's just getting ill, huh? Yeah, I can help with the gate. All right. I'm gonna be the gate boss. All right, first one's going by, which means it's, the first one's going by. That means it's getting, okay. Pretty sure that's the one that's going by by. <laughs> Just going by and going bye bye. Yeah. 
Come on, girl. Go on. Go on past me. She's scared. Oh my goodness. These calves. A little flighty. A little flighty. A little flighty. Oh, watch that heifer back there. All right. We're going in. Come on, girl. I got this one back here blowing like, wow. Wild child. Hmm. Four three. Okay. Step right up, forty three. Forty three. Are you limping a little bit? Oh God, maybe it's just the ground. Yeah, this this makes four. Last one. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby dolly, son. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> I'm going to close the gate. <laughs> That's good right there. Okay. He said that was easy enough, and he got the ones he wanted. Good day. Good. No, that didn't take hardly 30 minutes. All right. Nobody got hurt. Break a foot or an ankle. Go. That's the main thing. We need um, some square bell hay for the calves for tonight. So they're just going to put it on top of the Durango. This will be good. <laughs> Mark said, don't break the luggage rack. <laughs> Oh man, if my mom could see her Durango now, she'd have never thunk, I can promise you that. And the hood's up. That's good. <laughs> the hood's up. I don't know what he's doing. Come here, Seven. I got you some hay. I got you some hay. Come here, little buddy. Oh, he's so sweet, y'all. He's such a sweetie. He's a little lover. Yes, you are, aren't you? Yes, I am. I really am. Some fresh hay? You already ate your feed today. That's good. That's good. He started eating better, y'all. So that's good. Happy mail day. Happy mail day. I'm so excited. I ordered some teas from, my, from the cheesery. Wisconsin Roots. Look at here from my my friend Mary Pat Sass. Her family had a dairy, and anyway, this is what she has, and it's delicious. I had I've had it before, but oftentimes she sells out when she puts a, puts um, opens it up. So I made sure to jump on it this time. <laughs> I had some of these. Oh my gosh, let me tell you. All right, this is the um, garlic dill. dill. So, true story. She, you're, she's dying for me to open them. Um, Mary Pat was at the conference with Jen and I in Kansas. I've met Mary Pat before, but it was so good to see her again. Had her neck. I love her. I mean, she's getting ready. She's going to be on this new upcoming season of Farm Her, too. She's the last one. I have it saved. It's in April. I have it on my calendar. So, anyway... One day, Jen and I missed lunch. We were talking, and we got to the end of the line, and they ran out of meat, and I just can't do, I can't do tacos without meat. So, we went back to our hotel room, and we ate beef sticks that we had brought with us, but Mary Pat hooked us up with a bag of cheese. So, this is what we had that day for lunch, and we were addicted. It's got that um, squeak. I did, I'm sorry. Um, I just had cheese curds for the first time a couple of years ago. Like, I never heard, even heard of them, honestly. I don't think. But anyway, I know they're supposed to have it squeak. They have the squeak. Anyway, okay. Um, you gotta check them out. The cheesery. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. Because everybody needs these in their life. We got, what, maple? Maple bacon and jalapeno. Maple bacon, jalapeno. I got that for you, Wesley. With you in mind. Mm hmm You and your daddy. So good. 
Okay. Let me see if I can just put them up. Refrain. Yeah, got to put them up. Got to refrain. Okay, go ahead. Take them. Take them away. Take them away. Take them away. Take them away. All right, here we go. We'll load the last four. Okay. Oh, yeah. No problem. Bright and, bright and early. Bright. Not bright. It's not bright. I'm not bright and it's not bright. <laughs> it's just early. Duke is, Duke is awake. Duke is very awake. Duke is jumping off all the, I was going to say the walls. He's jumping off the walls. He's jumping off the door in the truck. Oh. Anyway, it's cool this morning, y'all. It's like in the 30s. It's not like it. It is in the 30s. Okay. I haven't had my coffee yet. It's waiting for me in the truck. Here they come. or we can pick calves up. Everybody wants sausage gravy. <laughs> so I'm making sausage gravy, but I'm cheating on the biscuits. Do y'all ever use these? These are my cheap biscuits. Grand frozen. I put them in the air fryer. I do one for Lawrence every morning and Wesley, but today I'm doing several for the whole family. They're, um, they're good. He says they're almost as good as homemade. So there's that y'all. We got rain coming today and tomorrow possibly an inch or two. Let's hope it's not quite that much. I'm going to clean out the trailer, completely clean the trailer out so we can take it in the morning to get meat. So we got to go back and get pick up meat. It's going to be raining again. We're going to have more people coming to pick up meat tomorrow because we got several that were smaller amounts, like quarters and halves. <sighs> so, that is what it is, right? It's going to be pretty today, though. We're going to get as much done as we can outside. We need to ride. We need to go to the store. We need to go get shavings. We need to go get feed. It's going to be a busy one. Um, but, we're going to start it with a, with a good breakfast. This is, this is water. This is so easy. Takes a little, little while. Takes a little, can I talk? No, I can't. Takes it a little while to thicken, but hey, it's worth it. It's worth the stir. Okay, y'all, just got home um, with a bunch of groceries and such, and I, I made a trip to the post office today because I haven't been in evidently quite a while. I had to mail something, but I I didn't know that I had things there waiting for me. So thank you so much. Um, Becky in Oregon sent me the sweetest card and several, where are the rest? I got to find them. Um, recipes. Thank you so much. And they're so, they're so nice. They're laminated and typed. Like I can actually read the writing, which is amazing because <laughs> we can't ever read my own writing. So I can't wait to try these. These are for different, um, they're all beef related, of course. Um, ground beef, stew beef, different ones. So, and you were right. I do not have tapioca. I do not have tapioca mix pudding in my pantry. So I would definitely need this for the recipe that calls for it. So thank you. What, oh, and then I got a whole box. What was this? Uh, Rob in Virginia. So there's a whole box of John Wayne and Western 
um, movies, which is awesome. You are, that's right up our alley. Um, I mean, like every one. Looks like every one of John Wayne's movies. A bunch of them, anyway. So, thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you. Also got these in the mail, so thank you. These come in so handy. Sorry, I just took it away from Austin. <laughs> she was playing with it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, they're so pretty. I need to make some more of those, um, oh, those chocolate muffin things. The chocolate muffins. The double chocolate mm -hmm. muffins. Mm-hmm. Got it. I brushed a little. <laughs> All right. I just happened to be walking by. <laughs> All right, I gotta go get some feed. Austin, we gotta go get a couple horses in and get the others moved around. It's supposed to start raining in two hours. We'll see. At least it's warmed up a little bit. Yeah, that's how Rip feels about it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go over to the field now, Rad. Wesley's finishing his school. Everything got a little behind today. A lot behind today. <laughs> okay, well, the guys are feeding some hay. We just, oh, I'm glad I wasn't holding my camera. We, the, the sheep just, we were down there, we were going to show the horses the sheep because little dogs never seen them. Well, the dog ran them out, and these two got a little excited. <laughs> got me a little excited. Oh, it's got a little, little shot of adrenaline there. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. They come running out of there. <laughs> okay, we just, we just finished supper. And I told them, I'm sorry, I don't have anything for dessert. And I said, you know what? I could make some of those cookies I made for church the other night. So I made these cookies for church. I didn't share them on here. I shared them on um, Facebook. If you're not following me on Facebook, you miss some stuff like that sometimes. So anyway, um, but I do the best I can to, to spread things out. You know, Whoa, where are we at? Um, and I've got, a, I've got a meeting in an hour. I got a Zoom meeting I got to get to, but anyway, um, so I was like, okay, you know what? I can literally make these cookies in 10 minutes. That's how easy they are, and since they're that easy, I'm going to show it to you. So, this is another one of them cake box mixes. Cake box. Cake? What? <laughs> this is another one of those cake box mixes. Cakes, cake box cookies. Can somebody say that for me? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? We have one stick of melted butter. Butter, I can't talk, so that's that's great. We have one German chocolate cake mix, and we have two eggs, and we're gonna, just gonna mix them all together. This is where we're at, this is what we're doing. Literally gonna have cookies, and at this point it'll be, yeah, it'll be like 10 minutes, because they only cook for eight or nine minutes, okay? And it only takes as long as it takes for you to melt a stick of butter. I put it in there for like a minute, which was probably even, it was a little too long. Let's say 30, 45 seconds. Okay. Then uh, what I do is I use, I've got some parchment paper down. Parchment, not, um, not wax. Okay. I do know that much. Um, oh, so good too. So you're going to want to do this. Okay. You're definitely going to want to do that. So that might take an extra 30 seconds or something. Um, okay. Rinse that off. And then I use a tablespoon and just put them by, um, by the tablespoon. It should make like 15 or 16. Hello, dookie. Oh, that just came right off of there. That was perfect. I didn't even have to use my finger. These are not, they'll just, maybe they'll just kind of round themselves out. Do want something so bad. He <laughs> can't stand it. Okay. And that's it, y'all. They're going in. One, how many? We got five, ten, fifteen, eighteen. Got eighteen out of that. All right. We're going to do eight minutes is what we're doing. All right. Bonnie wants some of this, too. Okay. I actually ended up cooking them for nine minutes. And now they've been sitting out for, like, 
in one minute and we're just gonna do this. Okay, trust me. I'm gonna do a little, little indention in the middle. Ooh, you can listen to it, listen. You can just hear the air going out of it. <laughs> okay, this is, this is cookie ASMR. We're letting the air out of our cookies, okay? That one's got a little, that one was, that's a little baby one. Oh, I'm gonna leave, the, leave these, leave, leave these for you. She doesn't want the icing because she is, I don't know, she, she doesn't, <laughs> she's, she doesn't like really, really sweet stuff. Okay. Okay, this is, this is the next thing. We've got our icing. We've got, I worked on this. I worked really hard on this, y'all. I, I had to find it in the grocery store and put it in a grocery cart and pay for it. Rich and creamy coconut, coconut pecan. You know, when I say pecan, we've been having a conversation today about how we say things. Oh. We'll come back to that in a minute. Um, anyway, so this is what you're going to do. Don't, don't I'm going to, I'm going to let somebody actually hold them. Hold the, let me see. Hold on. Okay. So first of all, I got to say, can you see me <laughs> trying to get somebody to all video right. me? Are action. we good? Action, action. Okay. Oh my gosh. Um, what I was going to say is that I need to give all credit to Denise, my friend, Denise from Instagram. That's where I met her, but we're going to meet in real life, hopefully one day. So she, she's the one that gave me this recipe. So this is not me. This is all Denise. Okay. Anyway, so this is the next thing, and this is like the most amazing part of it. So you just put a little of the icing in that little well you made, and now we're gonna eat these warm because we don't have any patience, but Denise said her family likes them even better after they've been in the fridge, which I can see where that would be amazing too. It would help the icing set up, so. Anyway, that's what we're doing, and um, they were a big hit at church the other night. Lawrence only got one of them, and he was like, wait a minute. So, we're all going to get one or two tonight. Okay. Okay, just promise me you're going to try these, okay? If you like chocolate, if you like chocolate and coconut, then you're going to like these, okay? The German chocolate cake mix, just it just tastes like chocolate. But I like them because they're kind of still gooey. I don't like cookies that are like real crisp. I know some people do. Some people, my friend Wendy does. In fact, we were gonna make some for her birthday, but I'm gonna have to cook them a lot longer. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. Cheers. No, you can't have this, dude, cause you can't have it cause it's chocolate. Puppies can't have chocolate. Sorry. Here we are again. Another early morning meat pickup. And we got rain. <laughs> Alrighty. We backed up as far as we could. We can hopefully unload them in the trailer. Okay, meat. Done. Breakfast. Done. Oh my gosh. We've just eaten two really big breakfasts. It's so fun though. It's so good. I like that. Biscuits and eggs and gravy and sausage and I don't know. I guess that was about it. Oh, and a half a cookie <laughs> from uh, last night that I made. We've had an inch and how much? Inch and three tenths, still drizzling. It came down hard last night. So we're underwater again. It had just dried up so nicely. <laughs> Oh well. So, barn chores. And then, I'm gonna finish my coffee that I never got a drink. And I'm, I'm hoping to rest my eyelids for a little bit. Perfect day.